Hi, I'm Jared Tucson here for the PopSart 12 to Watch. Today I'm here with James Hornsby, an experimental, bold and innovative photographer from Brisbane. How are we today? Good. Thank you for that lovely intro. No worries. Thank you for being here. Well, and to yeah, I'm excited. And James, can you tell me a little bit about you and your work? Um, well, you summed it up pretty well. I'm a photographer and artist, and this I happen to have some of my work right here. And uh, I think it's easier to to see it. Photographs, yeah, um, that's some of my work. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> and could you tell me a little bit about how you got started in this? Um, I was kind of like doing photography for BMX magazines, yeah. And um, I went to uni to like study like photography and journalism. And then when I got there, that fucking sucked. And then I was like, I went like I went to the sorry, you can cut, cut you can bleep that out. I went to like the journalism class, and they were like, go take pictures of the AFL. And I was like, I'm out. And then I went to like the creative advertising class, and they're like, there's all these rules with lights and stuff. And then I went to the art class, and um, my peer handed in a cake to a photography art class, and she got a HD. And I was like, this is my spot. So that's kind of where like the photography art like took off from there in uni. Yeah, wow, wow. And <laughs> what themes do you typically like to explore within your work? Uh, I think like kind of just like being a person who came to age in like the time when everyone got like a smartphone or like a supercomputer in their pocket, like just growing up in a pre kind of smartphone era and then like, li you know, becoming a teenager when that became like such a big thing but like I, I touch on like all sorts of stuff it's just like a big reflection of me and my life really and like just working with kind of like like I'd say like outcasts or like subcultures and stuff as well and like representing that in the work as well yeah heaps of shit really yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> I can see a lot going on um, but yeah, what does your creative process typically look like? How do you transform something into your own unique style? Sure. I think like it's it, uh, it's different depending on what I do because I do do a lot of different things. But for these ones, it's like it will start with a photo shoot. Like for instance, um, this one's called Mount Cruther Madness, and I start off by getting my friend uh, in this uh, business attire and a chainsaw, and we we're going to go shoot this at UQ. But um, we got chased out by security. But we end up t taking the photos of Matt Cruther. But yeah, I start with the photographs and then the collaging comes after and they kind of work together to build the work, yeah. Yeah, I can see there's definitely a lot of stories behind all of the photos. Yeah. But yeah, um, what, so we're here today in the One Space Studio in West End. Yes. What about this place is important to you or inspires you? Um, this place is great. I think like out of all the, like, the, the, what inspires me, I don't know. I think what I really love about One Space is like all the kind of galleries I've worked with, this was the first one where I really felt like a part of like a family or like a team. So it's yeah great for that because I've like worked with a lot of different people in like the art world and haven't really had that same connection of like where it feels like they really understand me and like, yeah, fuck with what I'm doing yeah. as well. <laughs> for sure. And is there any artists or people who inspire you the most? Ah. Uh, I feel like whenever you get asked that, you're like, I don't know, like, um, who's been inspiring me lately? Uh, fuck, I can't think. I just want to say, like, my mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I can't think of, like, a particular, like, artist. Yeah. yeah. Or are you inspired by, like, stories or things or events? Yeah, everything, really. I, I take in, I think I take a lot of inspiration from, like, everything. This, like, I just try to, like, reflect, like, life into the work or, like, my life. But, yeah, I don't, I can't think of, oh, I swear this always happens. It's like, who do you like? Are you like, uh, Kanye? Uh, uh, <laughs> I just start freaking out. Yeah, but I think, like, lo like I, w I would want to say, like, local artists, like, who I work with would are inspiring. Yeah. And not, not like Kanye. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Um, and what? Ooh, sorry. <laughs> um, what do you think has been your greatest achievement so far? Uh, sure, there's been many, but <laughs> like, it's like every time 
I put on a show, I feel like it's just that feeling of when people come and look at it. Yeah. Like that, that's always like the best. Like, it's like this giant, it's like, you, it's like you just fold your knees like, oh, it's finally ready for everyone to look at. And then actually having people come and look at it and enjoy it and connect with it, that's, yeah, the greatest achievement, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's not, I don't think it's like a, a specific like artwork or collab or happening. It's more just like the, the your, ha like have the privilege to create that environment of people like coming and enjoying the work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that. And what do you think is the greatest challenge for emerging creatives in this city? Uh, um, I've, it's probably like different for everyone, but I, th I think like, man, I don't know. There's so many challenges like financially, like there's a huge one. Uh, I, I can't, I can't think right now. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. You just got to go out and do it yourself. I think that that's the biggest thing. I think that people f feel like um, a magical third party will be like, hey, uh, we love your work. Here's all the money, blah, blah. But really, you just have to like build it yourself up. And maybe that's the biggest challenge. Like you're your own biggest competition type thing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure your career is only going up from here, but where would you like to see yourself in the future? Um, still in Brisbane, but maybe in the woods somewhere uh, further away. Um, I don't know. I just like kind of want to just keep doing what I'm doing now, but on a larger scale. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me today. No and I can't wait to see more of your work no in the future. Yes. I'm very excited. Non-stop. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Beautiful.